I, I would give Despicable Me one. Nine out of ten. Let's Despicable do a, me. Let's do a quick tier list. I'm gonna do it right now. Despicable Me, nine out of ten. Despicable Me two. Eight out of ten. Even how silly it is. Despicable Me three. Probably have to watch it again, but I'm giving it a five so I don't remember anything about it. Minions, seven, thought we were alright. Rise of Gru, uh, I don't really remember much. Um, what would you give Rise of Gru? That was definitely really. the worst one. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a six, because I still think it's better than the third one. Uh, four, I'll give us, I'll give a seven, I enjoyed four. My ranking is first one, second one, um, then probably minions. Minions? Then Despicable Me 4, and then the third one, and then Rise of Crew. Was Rise of Crew that bad? It was I don't remember sucked. being that bad. Is it? Yeah. I remember just coming out of it and being like, that was shit, but we're worse than the third one. Yeah, I think so. Because, I mean, the I third one had, all. like... I can't really remember the third one, but I, like... The thing with that is, the third one was just mid. And, like, boring. But Rise of Gru was just, like, just bad. I remember the start of it being good, but then it just trailed off and... Just... I mean, they all trail off, really, don't they? But that one just yeah, trailed it's... off into just... The first so one, bad. which everyone says is amazing, the plot of it's still kind of like, he steals the, it's about stealing the fucking moon, like it's not, <laughs> it's not really like a, a coherent plot line. I like how at the end they just shoved every villain they've ever had in the end of it. Yeah, Vector looks so weird.